Whenever life becomes stressful, it is always advisable that you should take a break and in that break you should have a good share of laughter because laughter is the best therapy. So if you too are stressed about your life, you are worried about the next exam that you are going to write, then don't worry, in this video we are not only going to discuss about the types of comedies that you will see in literature but we shall also be laughing along the way. The first kind of comedy that I'm going to talk about is romantic comedy. Romantic comedies are staged even today and we find that most of the viewers are interested to watch romantic comedies and that is why these comedies are mostly used in movies and we find that a lot of movies will fall under the genre of romantic comedies. If you look at the origin of romantic comedies, you will see that Elizabethan dramatists started romantic comedies and the plot in romantic comedies involve a love affair between a beautiful lady and a boy and finally towards the end there is a happy ending. Apart from that, if we look at some apt examples of romantic comedy, then we will see that Shakespeare's Midsummer's Night's Dream and As You Like It are perfect romantic comedies. At this moment, I would like to share a very famous uh, research which is going on. There is a lady called Linda Bamber who has written a beautiful pamphlet called Comic Women Tragic Men a study of gender genre in Shakespeare. In this particular work, she has talked about Shakespeare's romantic comedies and tragedies and he has shown how he has differently portrayed female characters. In romantic comedies, we see that Shakespeare has created female characters who are superior to men. Whereas in tragedies, he has created nightmarish female characters like we see Gondrel and Regan in Lear and we see Lady Macbeth in Macbeth. So these females are nightmarish characters, but they are presented in tragedies. Whereas in comedies, we have such beautiful and intelligent female characters portrayed by Shakespeare. The next genre or next type of comedy is satiric comedies. These satirical comedies are intended to satirize the political and social institutions and you'll see that Ben Johnson has aptly said that such satiric comedies can be called as corrective comedy because their main intention is to correct those social behaviors. Uh, the followers of satiric comedies are Aristophanes, uh, the famous Greek playwright and we also have Ben Johnson's Walpone and Alchemist falling under the category of satiric comedies. The next kind of comedy that we are going to talk about is comedy of humours. This is a term which was created by Ben Johnson and Ben Johnson believed that all the human beings have a personality and this personality is formed by the amalgamation of bodily fluids. So bodily fluids are there and these four bodily fluids mix together to form our personality. Imbalance of any of the bodily fluid will create comedy, will create humor and that is how he created a new genre of comedy which is called comedy of humors and you'll see that the play of Ben Johnson, Every Man in His Humour and a sequel of this play, Every Man Out of His Humour are apt examples of comedy of humours. The next kind of comedy that we are going to talk about is comedy of manners. I'm pretty sure that comedy of manners would be a favourite genre of several literature enthusiasts because it's a very fun filled genre. Comedy of manners talks about a story where the playwright is trying to ridicule the social class, the social manners and you can see that in the works of Oliver Goldsmith, specifically She Stoops to Conquer, then Richard Sheridan has written Rivals and when you look at the works written by these writers, you'll see that somewhere down the line they have also created stock characters. Stock characters are the characters which represent a certain section of society. Plus, you will also see a very, very important thing when you look at these plays that unlike satire, in all the plays which fall under the category of comedy of manners, the playwright rewards the unjust character. 
so these unjust characters these immoral characters they are not punished at the end just like we have it in satires but they are rewarded in the end because the entire purpose is to create comedy so everyone lives happily ever after this kind of situation happens even if you have committed some error you can see that in the word works of oscar wilde as well oh charlie chaplin now this chap reminds me of another kind of comedy which is farce so farce ka jo major intention hai wo ye hota hai that through farce the playwright wants to provoke laughter in the audience If you look at the plot of a farce, it is improbable. It is incomprehensible. Just like theatre of absurd, you cannot understand anything. But the main intention of the writer is to provoke laughter, light-hearted laughter. If you look at the works of Italian commedia dell'arte, you'll see that somewhere farce is inspired from commedia dell'arte. We don't know when farce began, but people, scholars believe that. during middle ages when interludes were performed between miracle and mystery play that is where farce emerged because miracle and mystery plays were very serious in their tone and subject matter and in order to create the environment which is you know a light hearted environment all the members of the church they decided that beach may kuch comic scenes perform kiye jayenge that were called interludes okay and that is what is called farce So if you look at the beginning of the farce you can see that somewhere those interludes were a form of farce a popular example of farce would be knockabout scenes in Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew and in Merry Wives of Windsor so those comical scene which doesn't involve your brain you need to leave your brain aside if you want to enjoy the play that is what is called farce and Charlie Chaplin was also performing act which fall under the category of literary farce the next kind of comedy that we are going to talk about is high comedy now there's a very very famous british writer called george meredith and george meredith has written a pamphlet called idea of comedy in which uh, it is stated that high comedy is a kind of comedy which evokes thoughtful laughter in which a person needs to think also and then laugh unlike farce farce may you need to keep your brain aside if you want to enjoy a farce but high comedy will talk about the follies and pretentiousness of the society and through those situations it will create laughter so it will produce thoughtful laughter uh, one of the finest example of high comedy is mirabel and millman's discussion in Congreve's Way of the World. Congreve has written this beautiful play called Way of the World, one of the most important work that you should not leave if you are preparing for UGC NET English. Make sure that you read that work in detail because every time they ask some really really amazing questions from this work. You can also go to my website and in the website you'll find a section called online course content in which I have listed all these writers which you should study if you are preparing for UGC NET English if you like that list if you like the way i have divided the course curriculum then you can also subscribe to my online audio course in which i give you detailed lectures on english literature and i prepare you for UGC NET exam if we have a high then definitely we are going to have a low as well so after high comedy next we are going to talk about low comedy लो कॉमेडी के जो प्लॉट्स होते हैं दे हैव लिटल और नो इंटेलेक्चुअल अपील एंड यूल सी दैट दे इन्वॉल्व क्लाउनिश फिजिकल एक्टिविटी ड्यूरिंग द प्ले जस्ट लाइक फार्स यू नो ऑल दोज क्लाउनिश एक्टिविटी वुड बी परफॉर्म इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू हैविंग नो इंटेलेक्चुअल अपील दिस लो कॉमेडी प्लेज आर नॉट सेलिब्रेटेड नॉट रेड सो मच बिकॉज ऑफ हैविंग नो इंटेलेक्चुअल अपील With that note I end my discussion on comedies we discussed few amazing kinds of comedy and we also looked at certain plays which fall under different kinds of camp comedies I would like you to subscribe to my channel before you end this video because we 
post videos every Saturday and every Sunday exclusively for UGC net aspirants if you too are preparing for UGC net English literature then do subscribe to this channel so that you are notified every time I post a new video apart from that I would also like to tell you one important thing that I'm running a go net contest on my social media platform so if you too are preparing for UGC net English then go check the social media platforms so that you can participate in the go net quiz and on also you can participate in various other competitions and contests that I'm running on these pages with that note I end my video we'll meet in next video very soon till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com